So again, as in my first video, if you're trying to figure out your vacuum system in whatever vehicle you're researching uh, slash trying to put it back into, uh, I highly recommend just printing out a picture of the actual vacuum system, which hopefully you can either find online or in the engine bay. Mine still has it. Um, and like I said, so we've already done all of the lines from the canister out. All of these have been traced. Uh, and so what we'll do on this video uh, is all of this stuff. So, uh, you know, this is a pretty complex system. It, it has basically everything you can imagine in it for a vacuum system, including uh, cruise control. Uh, so I will show you all the routing. You know, we'll start with this uh, TDS. Um, and then work our way out into the system. I'll just show you line by line, put a pause in between each line. Uh, again, if you guys have questions, obviously you asked me a bunch on the first one, please feel free. Uh, I will answer your emails and try to help you the best I can. On this engine, we have two uh, thermal vacuum switches, TVS, TVS, uh, different orientation on your pins. Uh, so the way you read these thermal vacuum switch uh, diagrams is this block sits on the top of it and then this little pin is to signify the actual thermal vacuum switch and where it fits down into your motor so we'll work on this guy first and then there's obviously uh, another one that has four you know pretty symmetrical setup on this one but this one's kind of offset so they're pretty easy to tell apart uh, so the first one we'll do is this yellow line and it should go to a check valve so it's the top line so here's our thermal vacuum switch it's a four port we'll take the top line and it goes to our check valve so and if we look back the orientation of your check valve is it goes into the white first and then the black it does and then it goes up to a T and that T goes up to uh, what would set on top of our carburetor so that's our air filter uh, setup and it's we'll show you so if I follow this line it goes to my T and this right here would go up to my air filter so we're at this T right here and what it does is it tees off to the air filter which I don't have on and I showed you that's that blank line and then it goes over to your manifold vacuum source and then your tip in switch so I should run into another T so here this goes to our uh, air cleaner come up to the other T this goes up to our tip in switch which is on the passenger side this unit right here we come back down to our T and then this goes into our vacuum source at the manifold. So the next line we'll do, uh, we just did the yellow line. Uh, so we'll move to the white one. So it's stacked on this thermal vacuum switch. Uh, and it goes to your early fuel evaporative. Um, and it's this white line. So it'll be the next one down in the three stack pillar. So we come in here, here is the top one. This one right underneath of it is your second line. And it should, based on our schematic, follow this white line and it should go into a stainless steel uh, line so we'll follow again coming back here it's the second one down right this guy follows it around and goes right into the stainless steel line and the EFE is right down there so this stainless steel line should go down in there and connect to your EFE so this third line, the bottom line uh, on the stack of three comes down and it comes right into the white end of your distributor uh, delay valve. So if we look at this, one, two, three. This guy right here should come back around and goes into this end, the white end of my delay valve. And then the line right next to it, this guy right here, still on the white end, right there. So we are tracing this green line out now, goes back up to our distributor. So, coming back to our uh, distributor delay valve, 
This line goes all the way up and connects into our distributor. Okay, and now we're working back from our distributor delay valve. Uh, we will show you this, we, I will show you this black line which comes back into our TVS uh, sensor. So that's back into the switch, uh, the one that we were just working off of. And this little notch is broken off on mine, but I can still show you. Uh, this guy right here would come back and attach right there where it's broken off. I need a new switch. Uh, so I marked this with blue tape just to know that, hey, I've got a line that's not hooked up somewhere. Uh, and if you want to make sure, if you want to, you should make sure that you're routing um, how these flow through on this switch. So this guy comes up. Um, <laughs> right here out of the bottom. Comes back around. We already traced this guy. Hooks on and goes basically a straight through shot right back into your TVS sensor. Just like we have on this drawing. So the one we just traced is this green hashed one that came back up, went down through the black one and back into the sensor. So from our distributor delay valve, which this guy right here that we've been working off of, we have one more line. It should come down into a Y. So here we are coming down into a Y in the orientation for the picture. I'll try and set this right up here against it. So we're working off this Y. So if I can get these both in the shot, see they look exactly the same. So we'll come down to this Y and do this first Y off and it should come down to our diverter valve. So here we are, comes back in, goes down under, down under to our diverter valve right here. If we come back up, we'll follow this down through and it should come down into another Y. So here we are, back at our other Y. Part of this Y goes up to your B port on your carb. So here we are back at the Y and it's going right here into our B port at my carb. And then the other part of the Y comes down and goes to the deceleration valve. So we're coming down right here into the deceleration valve. Just like so. So here we are. This little white line goes down right into the side of the can. As you can see, comes right here. And if I could get a little bit better shot of this, you can kind of see it. This little guy right here goes right into the side of the can, just like the drawing. We will now do the final portion of this vacuum system. So we have a secondary thermal vacuum switch, which goes to your EGR, your purge, and then your torque converter for your automatic transmission, uh, the lockup release, which is over here. And that's actually, you know, the orientation of this, where it gets kind of tricky, is actually up here in the engine bay on the firewall uh, on the driver's side. Uh, so we'll start tracing out this black line first. So find your switch. It's right next to the one we just traced out. And it's a four, four post switch. Everything's very symmetrical on it. And we are going to, to, to trace out the black line, which is this top one uh, right here. And it should go over. The first thing we should see is a T. So we're tracing to this T. So down here comes up crossed and here is our T so while we're at our T we'll come back and I'll show you where it should go so here we are at our T one should go down to the canister and if we look at our T this guy right here goes over and it is this one right here that goes down into our canister for our drawing so it goes right here to the top port on the canister, which it does. And then it also splits off and goes up to the firewall. So here we are. And this actually goes up and over to this valve that comes in the black end first. So we'll come back to our drawing and make sure that that's what's happening. And then it goes into the switch for the transmission. 
which is this guy right here. So we'll come back down and make sure our valve is oriented uh, properly. There we go. Goes up, comes down into the black end first, and then it goes into that uh, that uh, transmission switch. Next, we'll trace out this yellow line. It's still on the top of the block. As you can see, it comes around, goes up to a T. So we'll trace that first, and then we'll come back. So coming back down here on your four position switch, uh, it's this top guy right here comes here, across. Here's our T. So where's our T at? Our T is right here, and it goes down into our EGR into our EGR bleed solenoid and then it goes over to the EGR so here we are to T it should go straight through to your EGR exhaust gas relay and then it should also come off and go down to the solenoid which is right here so check next we'll trace out this blue line so it is under uh, directly under the one that goes to your EGR and your EGR bleed solenoid and that should just go straight up into the J port on the carb so if we're looking in here it's this bottom line on your four port it goes over right into the J port on the carb and then finally uh, we'll, we'll trace out this hashed line and it should go up and into the H port of the carb so if we come back in here, it is on the camera's right side. So it's this guy down here on the bottom. And it's right here, goes up and goes right here into the H port of the carb. So that checks out just fine.